are in cycle number four. Cycle number four, page eleven. Element one. Element one. We are still inside the reflection of the mantra. So uh, this time the uh, mantra is mam, mam. And here what happens is that it's a gradual thing that the left count until five and reflect soloing with the m, the m. And then the center count till ten and do a. And the right count until fifteen and do m again. So you have m, a, m. something like this. It will take more time, of course. And element. Two is another kind of uh, reflection. Again, like the three groups, left, center, and uh, right, but everybody do together. K, the K, A, E, N. So we have K, but everybody together doing K. And uh, while the K and the A are just straightforward, can, k, uh, the N has like a kind of a crazy arrow, so you can do. And these are uh, these elements, which by the way, they are taken from a kind of a ritual which is called uh, the five element mudra of the bon, Tibetan bon, uh, Buddhist. Now we are in cycle four, element number three, all together with closed mouth, slow alarm, individual tone but the same contour. Same contour, it means that the conductor will show you a little bit how to go up and down, up and down, and you do You see when you go up, it starts being here, um, it tickles, but uh, Sometimes uh, life tickles, it's okay. Number four, all continue with the slow alarm. But maybe the conductor don't give you, you continue. And it's 45 seconds of slow alarm, so be alarmed. Here we are in page number 12, in element number 5, we have another Rekha, which is very um, complex. You have something of clouds and something which is like light and you have like a shade of a face. And here all do all is extremely rough, low or extremely high vibrating voice. So I guess it, most of the men will choose the low one and most of the women will go the high one so the low one will be like oh. and the high one will be like oh. but my, my high is quite low I'm sorry and then there is the second part of uh, the uh, Reka number 6 which is still you need to look a little bit at the image to get inspired if it helps you so here you have uh, left and right 
you have a frenetic whisper uh, to short high peaks of chant number three, according to conductor's indication. What does it mean that you have this, uh, this uh, text of the chant number three? It's very, it's very graphic, the chant number three, and you just whisper it very fast, and sometimes the conductor will bam, bring you up and, and you give like an accent about it, like no and the uh, center man center so you have left and right the center man super low guttural chant guttural chant it means like that you do like oh very deep and it's um, it's actually a very special technique so who could do it very easily like doing a sound which is a little bit richer than just low like uh, instead of uh, do it and very low you do this uh, and the women are whispering so with one text we get uh, three different textures multiplicated by hundreds of people it will be very it will sound just like this no like the painting i hope Here we are in um, element number seven, and you see this page, you can see very clearly the different orchestration. Actually, number seven, you have the same indication, but just you have a brief graphical uh, description of it, so it's actually identical to number six if you read the text. So, number eight, with no stop, it's like a kind of a crossfade. In the uh, left and in the right, you have the same uh, element. The women are doing the ululation. Remember to Google and try to find some video of ululations, like the lu -lu 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 -lu. and the men are doing a very uh, low uh, kind of uh, uh, vocals of uh, a mantra which is con connected to the chant uh, before. Now, in the center, you have a difference, you have a different layer, that you make unexpected bursts of consonants, from soft to strong, to stop quickly. So, I do like something like... Please try not to spit when you do it. So, you have this... Like whips, you know, whips of. And this is number eight. Number nine, you have something which is written all hold climax of one vibrating long note. Now, what you don't know that while you're doing this sh sh and the ululation, Little by little, all of the percussions and the soloists are growing, growing, growing. And here we are, like a like, very big, high peak. All these sounds around you. And you have the many surprises. I don't know how to spoil you, but here we, you will arrive to something very, very vibrating. And I guess the conductor will do like something like, mm, and will push you, push you, push you up, and you will reach something like a note ah, it will be almost between singing and shouting, 20 seconds, and puff, you will get closed. Or as we do in Reka, we stop. So, 
After this climax, we need to relax. And here what we do, in element number 10, we breathe. We breathe, we, we just we breathe like in the beginning, it's a kind of the prelude, you remember? We breathe, now here we breathe, after which the cycle of top, we empty everything, breathing is easy. 